Promeg products are notoriously known for their bad craftsmanship and not so very good products. Today, I want to show you why this is the case. So I bought two 10 round Promeg magazines for my Beretta M9 handgun. I've had experience with Promeg in the past. I bought some 1911 magazines from them. Those worked fine. And then I got some AR-15-223-556 megs, and those did not work so good. So I figured I would go ahead and give these a chance, since they were considerably cheaper than some of the other options available. Now, this is the first magazine that I received in the mail. Now, if you can see, first off, that. Look at how not flush it is. Second, look at that weld. What were they thinking? So look at that weld up close. Look at that craftsmanship. It's magnificent. <laughs> Man. This thing must have been built on a Friday before a three-day weekend or something, because holy crap it's crazy now let's compare this to the stock magazines that came with my beretta m9 there's no weld in the back and then here are some mech gar magazines that i got no weld in the back everything's flush everything's fine now i'll show you where the real issues come into play that was just aesthetic issues. Now let's take a look at what's really wrong with these magazines. So this was the first one I ordered. This came like a week before my second one. And right off the bat, you can see how jacked up it is. Now let's insert it. And let's push the magazine release button. Nothing happens. <laughs> you have to physically... <sighs> Pull it out like that. Now let's compare that to a mech gar. No problem, came right out. Another mech gar. No problem, came right out. Stock M9 magazines that came with it. No problem, came right out. Surprisingly, the second Pro Mag magazine I got in the mail. No problem, came right out. So it was just this one that was causing those issues. But now let me show you some more issues that also comes with that magazine. Okay, so I got both of these ProMag magazines loaded up with 10 rounds. First things first, let's do a safety check. Nothing in there. We are good to go as far as that goes. Now, Let's take the jacked up one, which is this one, I believe. Yep. And I'll show you what happens when you try to insert that in. It will not seat in no matter what you do. It just, <laughs> there's always a gap. <sighs> now let me show you with nine rounds. There's really no issue there. The, that goes right in. It's seated. Put the 10th round back in. The only way I could get that to seat in is by holding the slide back and inserting the magazine. And now you can see it's seated in there. But look, look at that gap. That shouldn't be there. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Yeah, not very good quality at all. So that's the only way I could get that to seat in. But then after you fire the damn thing out, how do you drop it? Pushing the mag release button doesn't drop it. So you're going to have to manually go in there, push the mag release button, and pull that thing out. But yeah, so you can see here with this one that isn't defective... Even with 10 rounds in here, it's a struggle to get it to load in. You really just got to 
there. And the funny thing is when you're pushing on the slide plate, if you hear that noise, that's the plastic slide plate bending inwards. So yeah, see that? That ejects out of the magazine well. You just gotta give it some elbow grease. So yeah, basically the culmination of this first mag just looking like complete trash, like a, a five-year-old did the welding job on it. And then it's not wanting to drop when you press the mag release button. And then not being able to load it in with 10 rounds in on this one at least. See, it just will not snap into place like the other one did. I will probably honestly keep this one. Just because, I mean, it still works fine. Why not? Why not keep it? But I will be shipping this one back to Gunmeg Warehouse. I've already talked to their customer service and their returns department. And they're going to take care of me. So, big shout out to them. They've been nothing but helpful. And yeah, I just wanted to do a quick review on these ProMag magazines. And then I just wanted to look up this acronym that somebody said to me on Reddit when I posted a short about this topic. It sums everything up perfectly. ProMag. Please remember our magazines are garbage. That hits the nail on the head for sure. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.